Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the final mouse. Now this is a mouse created by a hardware company dedicated to building one thing and one thing alone, the best esports gaming mouse. They're not making any other products, no mouse pads, no keyboards, no headphone peripherals, just this mouse. Which if you think about it is kind of a daring attempt to get into the peripheral industry with only one single product, but I have to say this is a pretty amazing product and I'll get into why. You'll notice the pack packaging is pretty minimal. That small card I pulled out initially is pretty much the entire instruction manual for this whole mouse. You don't need anything beyond that. You just need to know what the DPI switch sets your mouse to and beyond that you're pretty much good. It alternates between 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. It also comes with an industry leading three year warranty which is pretty darn good considering how many clickers I've gone through in my day. The shape of the mouse is incredibly ergonomic. I would say it's somewhere between a Razer Death Adder and the Rockat Cone Pure. And it's even managed to shave off some weight compared to both of those mice, being one of the lightest gaming mice I've ever used. Overall, it's a pretty minimalistic gaming mouse, which is a growing trend in the eSports arena these days. It only has two thumb buttons, which are very ergonomically placed. And as a Battlefield gamer, I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of those. I've been using this mouse for several weeks now, putting in the time with it. Pretty much all my hardline beta footage was recorded using this mouse. And it's even inspired me to adopt a slightly different sensitivity. For those of you curious, it takes me 28 centimeters to do a full 360 while aiming down sights in Battlefield. Now, now for those of you who like the technical aspects of mice and what sensors they're using, this one is using the 3310 sensor. It's got zero acceleration, zero prediction, no angle snapping, high tracking speeds, and a pretty darn good liftoff distance. It's using Japanese Omron switches, and I really like the sensitivity of these switches for left and right click. They hold up for a long time, and even if they didn't hold up, you still have that three year warranty. Now the mouse is also pre-tuned and does not require any drivers. At first I thought this was going to be a negative aspect to the mouse because I'm used to playing with big name brand mice like Razer or Rockat that come with extensive driver suites that have tons and tons of functionality from customizing the color of your mouse to lift off distance etc. However there's always that possibility that bloated software or drivers could get in the way of the performance of the mouse. Now I wasn't really sure if this was true or not or how much this could actually affect the performance but I went online and I downloaded a few programs and I I did a few um, basically response time tests comparing this mouse to my previous mouse which is the Rockat Cone Pure and I found some very interesting results. Now click response time is something you don't generally hear a lot about when mice are being compared or reviewed. Apparently there can be a difference between the milliseconds it takes from left clicking your mouse between the time the computer actually recognizes that click. I thought it was pretty much identical on all mice but upon doing some research online I found out there can actually be a pretty significant difference, up to 30 milliseconds in some cases. So after installing some software, running some tests, I was comparing my Rockat Cone Pure to the final mouse, and on average I was getting a 13 millisecond faster response time on the final mouse compared to the Rockat Cone Pure, which is pretty substantial if you think about it. People are willing to pay hundreds of dollars to get monitors that literally shave off a few milliseconds in response time, and here I've managed to improve my response time by about 13 milliseconds simply by switching to a different mouse. This is pretty darn substantial in the bigger picture. And especially when it comes to playing competitively, every single millisecond counts. And if you can get a few up on your opponent and you're at the same skill level, then that means you're gonna win the firefight versus them winning the firefight. Now let's talk about the ergonomics of this mouse. I wear a medium sized glove if you wanna know how big your hand is compared to my hand. And I find this mouse incredibly comfortable. I generally run a hybrid grip. Since I came from the Rock Cat Cone Pure and the Razer Death Adder, I think if you like the feeling of either of those mice, you'll really enjoy the feeling of this mouse. I'm also a big fan of how lightweight it is. I know I already mentioned that, but it's kind of a big thing for me when it comes to mice. I really don't believe in having heavier mice. I think you want to shave off as much weight as possible. As I mentioned before, the thumb buttons are incredibly well placed. They are a tiny bit stiff 
for my preference, but then again, they might be perfect for you. It really comes down to your own play style. And the left and right click mouse buttons not only have very low resistance, but also very low click distance. This allows you to spam fire all you want with pistols, and that is perfect for Battlefield, which relies heavily on your sidearm. Also having something like a very lightweight left click is really great for accuracy in games. In many ways, it's similar to say, pulling the trigger on a firearm. If you have that smooth trigger action, it's not going to make your hand jerk at all before pressing the button. It's basically gonna allow you to press it nice and fluidly and still follow through on your target. Now I've tested quite a lot of mice over the past several years. I would say 20 plus mice that I've spent extensive time using and testing out in different gaming situations. And from all this testing, I found some excellent mice, some truly awesome mice that have been innovative. They've come up with better grip design, better button placement, all this stuff, but none of them have taken all the features that I really like and put them into one single mouse design. It's always been some sort of compromise with me when trying to pick a mouse and I just kind of have to settle. With this mouse, not only do I feel like the ergonomics are exactly what I want from a mouse, but it also feels just so much more raw and precise than any mouse I've used before. And now that I know things about click delay and knowing that this mouse has extremely fast millisecond response time when it comes to left and right click is another thing that just kind of makes me really like this mouse even more. Now the current retail price for this mouse is around $67, which certainly puts it in competition with a lot of the other big name mice out there, but I honestly think this is the superior option. If you wanna know more about this mouse, check out the website, which is linked in the video description. It's finalmouse.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.